Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome back to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see uh, what their silence means. So, why aren't they communicating? Um, why are they giving the silent treatment? Um, you know, what's their silence saying here? It's going to be a general reading. Please be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, um, there's an energy of being stuck in the past here um, with your person. This person, it feels like this situation here has been stagnated and has been uh, stale for quite some time. It also feels like there's, I'm seeing a forgiveness that needs to happen. I'm seeing the situation between you and your individual needs to be healed. Uh, but I also feel like individual energies need healing as well. Your person, or perhaps even yourself, or perhaps the both of you, are living in the past. And what that's doing is the fact that you're looking back, you know, you're living in the past. How can you move forward if you're stuck, if you're stuck in the past? You know, you keep, someone keeps traveling back to the past okay and they're not in the present and they're not committing themselves to this communicate to this relationship to this connection you know this connection can't grow because someone isn't giving it or perhaps the both of you aren't giving it your energy your attention and the love that you deserve so this someone here simply keeps revisiting the past perhaps the memories in their mind perhaps they're trying to go back to a point and a time in your relationship and in the, where the connection was um, you know filled with happy memories where things were um, great between the two of you okay where you had so many you know this person is reminiscing the joy the happiness and the fun times that you guys had together they're also trying to take that opportunity to you know figure what went wrong because I feel like See, the cards indicate that, you know, this is someone in the past. So I don't know if this is an ex for you that you have on your mind right now. I don't know if the both of you had some sort of disconnection where this person is no longer playing an active role in your uh, current life because this person is more of a past energy. Um, however, there is this emotional thread that connects the two of you together. And um, the cards seem to strongly indicate that this is a past energy that is going to show up in your life again. Or at the very least, is thinking about how they can do that. How they can show up and reconnect and reunite and, you know, come, come back together for a reunion. What this relationship and what this connection needs is, you know, it's time for a new leaf to be turned. It's time to start afresh and from a more positive place. But here's the thing, you can't ignore, you know, you can't ignore what's happened in the past here, okay? And in order to move forward, something that was said or something that's happened between the two of you needs to be healed. Six of, cup, six of Cups in Reverse alongside with some of this bottom row does indicate someone is playing childish games. So this whole silent treatment, this whole not communicating or, you know, talking to you but not saying much, that does feel a little bit juvenile and infantile to me. That does feel like this person is playing games because they know that, that you know, there's still a lot of emotions involved, I feel like, on both your ends. But they know that by not communicating or by holding back conversation, they know that it's going to drive you crazy and it's going to mess with your mind. So so they're purposely doing that. You know, that, that whole lack of communication or the whole silent treatment, it, it's intentional, it's deliberate, okay? It's strategic. That's what I'm picking up. So there's this connection with, especially with the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles here, there's, you know, someone here is... Someone here's connecting to their... Um, the inner child here, and it feels like someone here is playing um, childish games. Um, 
it's sad because I feel like the both of you are missing out. You know, yeah, you both might be reminiscing about the past, but you're also missing out on the opportunity that the future or the present here is offering. So someone here keeps clinging to the past and they're losing touch with the present. They're losing touch with reality. And the both of you are still interested. The both of you are still emotionally connected. There's still love. In fact, there's an, in fact, there's an outpour of emotions. But I just feel like, notice the chalice, how it's overflowing. Okay, So there's a lot of emotions, so much so that the chalice itself is not able to contain the volume of all of these emotions. But there's just, you know, someone he kind of identify with the emotion. Someone he feels very overwhelmed. Someone he isn't processing you know, what the past, um, what's happened in the past here. So they keep, either there's a wound, okay, that is festering and that is, you know, hurting this relationship and it keeps being, every time this person revisits the past, what was said or done, that wound keeps reopening. See how that wound can't be healed because this person keeps going back and keeps picking at it. Instead of healing and allowing the, the scab to heal, they keep picking at it, which is making it worse. So, um, it's you know so it's an opportunity i think communication right now it would be very important in fact more than ever because it would be an opportunity for the both of you to make peace with the past so that you can focus on the present but it feels like this person is waiting um they're still waiting on you okay and it feels like they're kind of waiting for you to reach out first again i feel like that stems from the fact that they're a lot less mature than you are it feels like this person is a bit childish i don't know if this you know, it's because they are a little bit, they're letting their ego get in their way or they are a little bit emotionally infantile and juvenile. But to me, I feel like the cards are bringing to attention that there is a bit of juvenile or childlike and immature energy involved here. And whilst it's okay to indulge and reminisce about the past, but so as long as you can, you know, so as long as you understand that true and lasting change can only happen in the present, not in the past. And this person can't move they can't get over what's happened here. If they're stuck on it, I don't see how this relationship can progress. I don't because, you know, you, this situation needs healing. And if you can't heal the situation, if you can't forgive yourself or forgive this other person or, you know, whatever this is for the both of you, I don't see how the relationship can thrive. And it's a, it's a pity and it's a sad thing because there's so much emotion and I feel like the both of you invested. But it just feels right now your energies are so out of sync and out of tune and out of frequency with one another. And... Communication is absolutely important right now because it would bring to the surface a sense of honesty, a sense of transparency, a sense of truth that I feel like this connection is suffering from. But I feel like it's like your person is purposely waiting for you to reach out and communicate. Maybe it's because you were the last one to, you were the first one to walk away or you decided to initiate a break or you, you know, you said or did something that bruise their ego and now you know they're using silence or lack of communication as a strategy as a way to mess with your mind okay as a way to um like hold the leverage over you um they they're still i mean it feels like they're still in love with you it feels like they still care and they're still invested but to me it feels like they've got a little bit of growing up to do that's what it feels like um which is a shame because it feels like there's so much promise and there's so much potential to this connection but i do feel like when it comes to your individual um i feel like you guys you're not on the same to me it's almost like this person that you're involved with is a little bit younger than yourself and maybe there is an age gap for others of you maybe for some of you you know this person is just a little bit let's just say they're prone to childlike predispositions a little bit of temper tantrum throwing and a little bit of pouting when things don't go their way okay and something he hasn't necessarily gone their way um and i feel like your person doesn't is not able to work through emotions so they're hurting and they want to hurt you okay their ego is bruised and they want to do the same to you it's like you know they feel like They've been jaded and they want to get you back. They want to retaliate. It's a little bit of it's it's a little bit of tit for tat. That's what it feels like. Um, they do have stuff to communicate with you. They do have, I mean, they've got a lot to say. The thing is, they've got a lot to say, and they miss you. They miss you. They certainly think about you. Um, they certainly are still emotionally involved, but they are holding back. I feel like they're purposely holding back. It's almost like they want you to reach out and communicate first. 
which is childlike, which is very immature because it feels like there's a lot of, it feels like they've been sort of writing and rewriting text messages to you. They've been trying to communicate to you or they've even been trying to uh, go to different a avenues, perhaps even use um, telepathy as a way to connect and communicate with you. Um, I feel like I'm seeing patterns patterns in this relationship in this connection and in your person's behavior that have hindered the growth of this connection patterns that have sabotaged or even hurt this relationship and those patterns need to be worked on okay so some shadow work is absolutely necessary in this relationship um, what else Yeah, I feel like this person is going to show up in your life again. They will. I just don't know if by then they would have done a lot more healing or a lot more maturing. Okay, I do feel like this is someone who is going to show up. But I also feel like right now this person is like in two minds about the situation. Or it's just... I just feel like they're a little bit inconsistent. That might have something to do with the fact that this person is, you know, is going through... A growth and development phase if you will they're up and down I feel like this person is a little bit up and down they're a little bit confused they're a bit inconsistent and here's the thing I don't I think they've done this to you before in the past where you know that they don't communicate they hold back um, and I feel like I'm seeing patterns and I'm seeing cycles Break the pattern, break the cycle, and I think this relationship will thrive. Alright guys, these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.